In this lecture, we're going to look at creating objects. There are three basic ways of creating objects, and we're going to look at these in detail. I'm going to use the rectangle tool, which is on the basic tool set, and I'm just going to use the first mode here, the corner to corner mode. So click once to start, click once to finish, and there's your rectangle. What I'd really like you to look at is this object info palette on the right hand side of your screen. Now I'm using metric at the moment, and what I'd like to do is I'd like you to change that to either 50 millimeters or 2 inches. When you hit the tab key, you will move to the next field of the object info palette. This is a really quick way of moving down here. And you'll notice that it also highlights it all for you. So now 50 again, and hit the tab once more. Now what you may have noticed is that the first thing that happened was one side moved in, and then the bottom moved up. And that one corner of my rectangle, that's the top left here, did not change. I'll just undo that with my keyboard shortcut and I'll redo it again so you can see it. So did you notice it changed and the one corner was left fixed? This is called the box position. You might think of it as the origin of your rectangle. And it's represented here on this grid of nine dots. It's the top left corner. You can choose the box position, the origin, and you can then change the location of that object by using your keyboard. So I've typed in zero, hit the tab key, typed in zero, hit the end key or the tab key again, and you can see my object has moved. So we can use the object info palette to change the size of the object and to change the location of the object. While we're talking about this, I'd also like you to know that you can use plus and minus. 50 millimeters plus 50 millimeters. And now I can say minus 50 millimeters, and I'll take that away. If you're using a metric file and you want to use inches, then just type in the inch unit mark, which is a double quote mark. Two inches or 50 millimeters. And if you're using imperial and you want to use millimeters, just type mm after it. Or if you want to use meters, type the letter m, and it's really quick. The next technique I want to show you is to use the numeric keypad. Now a lot of keyboards have got a numeric keypad on the right hand side. Not all have it, but a lot have it. This numeric keypad is very efficient. Window on the menu bar, data bar options, and allow numeric keypad entry for instant data bar activation. This is going to make it very quick to draw our objects if we turn this option on. So remember, window, data bar options, allow numeric keypad. So how does this work? When we click to start a rectangle, you can see I've got a floating data bar just by my cursor. It says 50 minus 50 at the moment. If I use my numeric keypad, I can type 50 straight into that floating data bar. Then hit the tab key, minus 50 because we want it to come down, enter once, enter once more, and that has created our object. Now this is a much faster way of working than the first one I showed you. It's just as accurate, but it's much, much faster. Let me show you that full speed. So we go click, we go 50, tab, minus 50, enter once, enter again, it is really quick. The more you use this technique, the faster you will get with it. And you can also use this technique with any of the objects that draw a polygon shape, like walls, for example. The last technique I'd like to show you is that some tools allow you to double click on them and place an object of a specific size in a specific location. So 50, 50, I'm going to set the box position to the top left, that's that one there. I'm going to turn on this option here, position it next click, because that's going to give me an opportunity to choose where to place this rectangle. I could turn that off and type in the coordinates, but I really want to um, use the mouse to do it. Click OK, find the center of the last rectangle, you can see the word center will appear, or bottom right if it's finding the bottom right of the other one. Click, and it's placed my last rectangle for me. 